Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today it is Tuesday, February 25th I think, I believe. I'll have the date somewhere in the screen. Um, today is going to be a very busy, productive day. I got a lot of things that I got to do. Um, I have to, again, I have to cook, prep my husband's uh, meals for all of us. Um, you know, it only lasts for two days. And so again, I have to cook. Uh, and so basically I'm going to be, you know, prepping the meals again. And, um, and I'm also right now going to, and also right now I'm going to do laundry. I'm going to have the washer do its thing because my hamper is getting pretty full. So I need to do that. As, and then I'm going to be eating my breakfast before I leave and then just get the house cleaned so that way when I leave tomorrow morning um, to San Diego, I'll be leaving the house clean. I'll be knowing that my house was clean and then um, I don't have to do a lot of things when I come back. And so, yeah. And so the reason why I'm going to San Diego, as you guys heard, um, is because me and my brothers are heading down to San Diego to, um, to, uh, right. I had to sit down for this. Um, so basically, um, the reason why we are heading to San Diego is because my uncle, who is married, um, to my aunt, Kathy, um, who is my mom's sister, um, my uncle passed away and so we are going to the funeral and so we're going to be there for my aunt and it's been very hard on her and, um, um, I know what she is going through because that's what the feelings and what she is going to, going through. I went through it with my mom, que paz descanse. Um, and it is very, very painful because everything is just so real that it's happening that you know someone passed away and especially someone that you see every day um every morning every night and so i know it is very hard on her especially because no one that on our side of the family lives near her she lives in a town called chula vista which is like 15 or 20 minutes away from tijuana if you guys are from that area you guys know where it's at. If not, like I did mention, it is closer to the uh, Mexican border. And so, um, yeah, we we basically, like, my mom's side of the family lives in Mexico. And um, it's just, like, an uncle that lives just, like, down the street and then us. Yeah, so that's the reason why we are going to San Diego uh, tomorrow morning. My brothers that live in Utah... My older brother is going to fly that same day in the morning. So I don't know who's going to pick him up. It's either going to be me um, that uh, we're going to be picking him up in the San Diego airport, I believe. My older sister and my younger brother with his wife and two kids, they're going to drive later today. Um, from Utah to California it is around, if you Google it, it says like 10 hour drive. Um, so it all depends, you know, how fast you're coming and if there's any inconvenient stops or, you know, mother nature, um, problems on the way, then, you know, they can get here within the 10 hours. Um, we've been doing this for years. We, when we used to live in Utah, we would come here to California to visit my grandma. That, um, as you guys sh should know by now, um, she lives in Watsonville, where we, where, um, basically we all kind of grew up. And so, um, from where we used to live to Watsonville, it's actually a 12 hour drive. Um, we just stopped here where we currently live because we would visit my uncle, who is my mom's youngest brother and so um it was just a 10 hour drive so like i you know like i'm saying it does take almost the whole day um so like 
they're gonna leave tomorrow they're gonna leave tonight around i want to say i'm i'm guessing the time they're gonna leave because my brother is currently working right now and um you know they still have things to do so they are still running their regular errands today but i hi it is great new though we haven't got him his haircut you guys it is three weeks overdue um when I'm gone, his dad can take him to get his haircut. Because uh, he did take Isaac to get his haircut two weeks, two or three weeks ago. Um, he didn't took Marcos because we do take him to get their haircuts on Saturdays. That's the short day that my husband, you know, only works half a day. And so, yeah. What are you doing? And so, uh, yeah, the Vasaka, the Vosaka, and so, um, and so, yeah, like I did say, um, uh, last time my husband took Isaac to get his haircut, he fell asleep, and so. We just haven't been able to take him on the weekends. And on the weekdays, I do not want to take them because he cries a lot. They cry a lot when they get their hair cut because they don't like the sound of it or the feel of it. They just have bad experiences. So, yeah, that is a little rant on a rant. <laughs> and so basically, yeah, what I'm trying to say is, you know, today is going to be a very productive day for me because I say that when... I have a lot of things on my mind and I need to do things and so I need to, um, you know, cook, I need to do laundry, um, I need to start packing my stuff because I know once my family gets, my brothers get here, they're going to want to start driving to San Diego. Um, oh my god, this kid. Um, and we're going to be driving to San Diego. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be driving to San Diego. Um, I do get car sick, um, when I'm not driving, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be driving because they're, go ahead and start really late. It is 10, 10, um, it's chewing on my headphones. So yeah, I'll catch you guys up in a bit. Hey. Yeah, se te pasa el coraje o qué? <laughs> you are so silly. You complain for everything. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? It's a elephant. You're watching elephant? <laughs> the movie is called Hornet Hears a Who. Who? 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 Hornet? Hornet. Here's a who. He is starting to like that movie, you guys. He is obsessing with Horny Hears the Who. That can see? Oh! Amanos! Amanos, a bit elephant. Oh, what is that? Elephant, race! See? Ready, set, go!
Okay guys, so um, I did change shirts because it just got really hot during the day and I started sweating. I was just really up and down cleaning and cooking and all that kind of stuff. And so I just got a little bit overwhelmed. Um, Isaac and Marcos kept fighting for toys. And yeah, so today has been a very rough day. I am, I would, um, I am done folding the first load. The second load took a while because... Um, for some reason, the lid from my um, washer, when I do close it, it doesn't close all the way. And so that sometimes does irritate me because um, me thinking that the um, load has finished, when I go to open it and I look inside, it is still full with water. And so um, that did, um, took time for me to finish earlier than what I expected. And so um yeah today has not been going pretty good but you know i am trying, just trying to breathe trying to breathe take breathers and so i am going to show you guys how i prep my husband's and also my brother-in-law's meal yeah so i am prepping just for them so this is enough for two days um on sunday i also did cook um as you guys Sorry, you guys, for the bad lighting, but bear with me. So, the um, on Sunday, I did cook, as you guys saw on the recent video that I made. And um, the food that I do prep does last only for two days. And that is also including me. So, I have to, it does give me, two, like, two days of resting of me not cooking because I do have enough for myself and for them. So, I'm just going to show you guys um, how I did their um, their meals for two days but since I'll be gone um, they can just cook the the rest of them of this week yeah so let me go ahead and show you guys how um, what kind of um, storage bins I use from where and how I prep it and then um, that way you guys can get an idea of how I do it and some of the food that I might show you is kind of similar to the ones that I'm gonna demonstrate you so let me go ahead and um, show you guys real quick Right, so I use um, the meal preps containers from the Dollar Tree. Um, these are individually sold. Um, last time I went, they were individually sold, which kind of threw me off. Okay, it did throw me off because I did um, two times that I went to go buy them. Um, I did purchase them in a bundle, which was in a bundle of three. Um, but I guess they're starting to sell things individually, which works with me because it does, it does do its job. Anyways, so this bottom portion right here is my husband. So this is like one day and then this is um, the second day. Same over here. This is one day and then this is the second day. And so this is my husband. So this is kind of like his 10 a.m. meal. And then this is like his lunch meal. And his lunch meal contains broccoli, um, asparagus, and chicken. And then my brother-in-law's, it contains, um, I think this is like his 10 o'clock one, which is um, just regular chicken and a small salad. And then um, his lunch contains um, ground turkey and asparagus. This is kind of similar to what I eat. Um, his... Um, our trainer did change his meal plan. It kind of is now kind of like mine, but he they do eat um, Like seafood. I don't like eating seafood So I don't have seafood in my meal plan as you guys saw in my previous video But yeah, this is exactly eight Containers and that's typically what I do when I do meal cook and then the next the like later that day I do wait for their food to cool down so that way I can store them in the refrigerator and so yep so this is for just two days one for my husband and this is day one for my brother-in-law and then this is day two for my husband and then this is day two for my brother-in-law so I just wanted to show you guys real quick how I do meal planning and I'll go ahead and show you guys how it looks like um, how I store it in the fridge all right you guys so this is how it looks like this is how i always tend to put it so like i was mentioning it like you know day one and day two and day one and day two 
this side's my husband and then this side's my brother-in-law's they already know like their meal so they don't take you know each other's meal um one or the other's meal but i do put them i do stack them like that so that way they know like this is day one this is day two you know and so that is how it looks like and like i was mentioning like leftovers like this is leftovers from my husband which is squash i just put it in a small one and then just store it there Mama. and that's basically how i Mama. Mama. storage their food <laughs> Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.